वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड ऑफ रिवॉल्यूशन पर्टिकुलरली टोरस एंड स्पियरिकल कैप सो फर्स्ट वी रिकॉल द फार्मूला फॉर वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड ऑफ रिवॉल्यूशन सो वॉल्यूम v इक्वल टू पाई इंटीग्रेशन a टू b y स्क्वायर dx dx व्हेन y is equal to fx is root revolve about x axis from x is equal to a to x is equal to b and volume b equal to pi integration c to d x square dy when x is equal to gy is revolve about y axis from y equal to c to y equal to d first example find the volume of a torus formed by the revolution of the curve x square Plus y minus two whole square equal to one about the x-axis. So this curve x square plus y minus two whole square equal to one. It is the equation of circle with the center zero two and radius one. So this is a circle with the center zero two and radius one. Now we revolve this circle about x-axis. so we are watching here two different view of revolution about x axis in the first view z axis is outside the screen and which is similar to the two dimensional xy plane and in the second view x axis is outside the screen and it is a plane zy in which we can clearly see the shape of the solid and the shape of the solid is a torus so this is a wire form and this is solid form of the torus now here we want to find the volume so volume is equal to pi integration a to b y1 square minus y2 square dx so here y1 and y2 are the upper and the lower limits of the circle so here Upper limit of the circle is y equal to two plus square root one minus x square, and the lower limit is equal to y equal to two minus square root one minus x square. If we substitute both these equa both these values in the equation, so pi integration now limits for x is minus one to plus one, so it is minus one to plus one. Y one equal to two plus square root one minus x square. Minus y two equal to two minus square root one minus x square whole square d x. Now squaring both the terms, pi integration minus one to one, four plus four square root one minus x square plus one minus x square minus four minus four square root one minus x square plus one minus x square. Now plus four cancel with the minus four, and ma. Plus one minus x square cancel with the minus one minus x square. Then we have only two terms: four square root one minus x square plus four square root one minus x square, which is eight square root one minus x square. Now, the limits of integration is minus one to one, and which is a symmetrical limit. And this given function square root one minus x square is a given function. So using integration property. You can rewrite this integration two pi integration zero to one eight square root one minus x square dx. So eight into two is sixteen pi. Now your standard integration for square root one minus x square is x by two square root one minus x square plus one by two sine inverse x. Evaluate between the limits zero and one. So sixteen. Pi. If we put upper limit, x is equal to zero. X is equal to one. So one minus one square zero. So first term is zero. One by two sine inverse one minus lower limit, x is equal to zero. So one by two sine inverse zero. Now one by two sine inverse one. Sine inverse one is pi by two, and sine inverse zero is zero. So one by two into zero. So second term is zero. In the first term we have pi by four. And this four is cancelled with uh, four, cancelled the sixteen. Then sixteen will be replaced by four. So we have pi four pi square. 
so it is the volume of the torus now second example find the volume of spherical cat of height h cut off a sphere formed by the revolution of the earth of a curve x square plus y square is equal to h square about y axis so here we want to make a spherical cap of height h cut off a sphere suppose this is a sphere now we cut the sphere h at height h to make spherical cap so this is a height h and we are cutting the sphere therefore we have this spherical cap of height h now consider the wire form of this spherical cap this wire form shows that this spherical cap is made by the earth of x square plus y square is equal to h square of height h so if we revolve this earth of x square plus y square is equal to h square about y axis then we are able to generate this spherical cap now we want to find the volume so pi a to b x square dy now this height of spherical cap is a, h and the radius is a so this lower limit is a minus h therefore the limit of integration is a minus h to a and x square is equal to a square minus y square so final integration pi equal volume equal to pi a minus h to a a square minus y square dy now integrate so pi is equal to a square y minus y cube by 3 a minus h to a now substitute the upper and lower limit so upper limit is a so a square into a Minus a cube by three in the lower limit a minus h so y is equal to a minus h a square a minus h minus a minus h cube divided by three. So in the first term a square a cube minus a cube by three which is two a cube by three minus if we take the LCM three then we have three a cube minus 3 a square h minus the formula for a minus h whole cube a cube minus 3 a square a square h plus 3 a h square minus h cube divided by 3. Now this minus 3 a square is cancelled with the plus 3 a square and 3 a cube minus a cube is equal to 2 a cube. So we have remaining terms. 2 a cube minus 3 a square plus h cube. Now simplify. 2 a cube minus 2 a cube plus 3 a square minus h cube. So we have a cube 2 a cube cancel with the minus 2 a cube. Then we have remaining term 3 a square. A h square minus h cube divided by three. So your final form of the volume is pi a square a minus h by three. So this is the volume of spherical cap of height h. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, subscribe, and press the bell icon of Next Gen Math.